So we'll have a look here at how we use the band math functions within NV to convert at sensor radiance values to at sensor reflectance using the equation that I've put up at the bottom of the screen here. Now we've been through already where you get the, the values for each of the variables and what each of the variables mean as well. So we're just going to look at the band math function and how to actually implement that. So I've already got open my at sensor radiance corrected band 1 image and now we're just going to go straight to band math and we're going to look at entering the expression that we need. So we leave out this this part of the equation because this is what's going to be our answer in the, the at sensor reflectance um, and we start with this first part of the equation here. So if we start in with the double brackets um, and we'll use pi. Now within NV and IDL, pi is a system variable, so for it to understand that we need to put in an exclamation mark or what's known as bang. So the equation here says bang pi, uh, we'll multiply it by band 1, so that's what we're going to use as our at sensor radiance value, and then multiply by d squared and d from previous examples we've we've got as 0.99662 and so it's squared so we'll times it by that again okay so that's the first part of the equation put a divided by sign um, and then another set of brackets in there our e sun value for band one was 1983 and we're going to multiply that by cos and we've got the, the cos of theta is the solar elevation but a uh, solar zenith value but as we know that we've already we've only been given the the solar elevation in the metadata file so we need to make a correction for that so we've got another set of brackets in here Actually, we've got two sets so we're looking at the cos of 90 minus 62.60555 okay so that will give us um, our solar zenith value and outside one set of brackets we'll multiply that by our bang pi again and we're also dividing by 180 and the reason that we're doing that is because this value here, the 90 minus 62, is in degrees, whereas NV and IDL works, work in radians. Now what we want to do is just make sure that all our brackets line up. So we've got the, the same number of left-handed brackets as the right-hand brackets. So we've got one before the 1983 and then two just before the cos. We've got one after this 62.6 um, .6 number. Um, and then we've got another two to finish up there. So we've got three on the right and three on the left. So if we click OK there, we can have a look where it's asking us what band one is, or our B1 variable, which will be band one for the image there. And it's sim simply just go ahead, choose your file name for that, and you run that equation. We can then open that once it's, once it's finished. We've got our band one at sensor reflectance. Open that and what we want to do is just check that once it loads that first of all it looks it looks right you don't see any anomalies there and then we'll go in and check individual pixel values to just make sure that they make sense in terms of at sensor reflectance so the values should be between um, between 0 and 1 there